What's good? What's happening with y'all, man? Frieza versus Megatron. Dragon Ball Z vs. Transformers Death Death Battle. Let's go. Frieza, the Dread Emperor from Dragon Ball. And Megatron, the Decepticon Commander from Transformers. Let's see. When these two dictators collide, the cosmos will tremble. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Deep in the bowels of Ooh. outer space lies a monster so cruel, so callous, so it. evil that the universe itself trembles at his approach. Behold, the mighty Lord Frieza. Oh, he's adorable with the horns and that fluffy tail and the... What, ugly? What are you talking about? Inside? Oh. <laughs> Covered? Awesome. And he's laughing. Cool. Frieza's diminutive stature and foe gentility were intentionally deceptive and rooted in a surprising place. In response to the Japanese economic bubble at the time, Frieza's design was meant to evoke real estate speculators. Series mangaka Akira Toriyama has described such speculators as the worst sort of people. Yes, really. I guess you could that's say Frieza crazy. is more than meets the eye. Oh, wait, shit, that's later. Much is unknown about Frieza's alien Ew, race Frieza. and heritage, only that he and his years. father were born as mutants hey, with yo. abnormally high power levels. Oh, like how the doc said, I'm my sure. blood alcohol level was 0.8 straight out the womb. Frieza was so crazy strong that unlike most Dragon Ball characters who transform to get stronger, Frieza transforms to get weaker. So he doesn't like accidentally nuke a planet. Only intentionally. With his father's empire and army at his beck and call, Frieza would cross the universe, conquering worlds one by one and selling them to the highest bidder, just like real estate speculators. And if anyone objected, he'd just kill them, their entire family, and everyone they ever knew. That's fucking wild. I just say no to somebody and they get that pissed, bro, that they do this shit. Just like real estate speculators. While he usually lets his weird multicolored alien grunts do his dirty work for him, Frieza's not afraid to throw down himself, especially if some spiky-haired space monkeys start getting too uppity for their own good. Frieza's strength comes from his innate understanding and manipulation of his own ki, or life energy, which he can use to enhance his physicality or manifest into projectile attacks. Like his classic death beam, death bowl, death wave, death cannon, death saucers. Yeah, I'm, I'm sensing a theme here. Frieza can move mountains with his mind fire laser beams from his eyes, create key force fields, and he even learned to sense the key of others through sheer observation alone. He's fast enough to keep up with Goku's key attacks, which, scaled to the key he absorbed for his spirit bomb against Kid Buu, could move across the universe in less than a minute. That would be over 17 quadrillion times the speed of light, and he's gotten even stronger and faster since then. You know you're a badass when you can stroll into Planet Vegeta, a planet filled with people whose only higher aspirations involve murder and hair gel, and talk shit like you own the place. <laughs> and he got so paranoid about one of them getting strong enough to kick his ass that he blew up the friggin' planet. Considering Planet Vegeta has oh, really, 10 I times the gravity boy. of Earth, this would mean it likely has 10 times the mass and 100 times the energy required to overcome its gravitational binding energy and destroy it. That's sheesh. over 5.3 Yoda tons of TNT. And that was in his weakest form. Too bad he kind of missed a spot. Or several because a bunch of Saiyans survived to fight another day. Space genocide just ain't what it used to be. This would come back to bite him when he was yep. finally forced to confront the Earthbound Saiyan Kakarot and accidentally ended up being the reason he turned into the legendary Super Saiyan. Like the albino dildo he you is, know? Frieza has survived being pounded by Broly for over an hour straight. <clears throat> Bro, getting pieced up by Broly is insane, bro. Would still Broly's us up for an hour. Boy is a... Do he what the fuck kind of pose? Look at that. Oh, my look at his scary ass. Do he is Frieza has survived being pounded by... Broly? Bro is a fucking tank, man. ...for over an hour straight, crushed by Goku's spirit bomb, and then split in half, consumed by an exploding planet, and left to float in the vacuum of space. He can survive without the vast majority of his body, though unlike other Dragon Ball villains, he can't heal on his own. 
It yeah. didn't help him that much after he got his ass sent to hell, but because of that dragon in his balls, he was back at it again. Yo. And with just four months worth of training, the first time he'd ever trained four in his months. entire life, Frieza was able to achieve a new transformation <clears throat> capable of sur Four months, bro? That's, that's a short amount of time, bro. Passing the Super Saiyan. Golden Frieza. That's a level of laziness I aspire to, Wiz. DeviantArt Frieza here lets him keep up with Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta. A significantly weaker Super Saiyan God Goku could blow up the whole of Universe 7 in a punch clash with the God of Destruction, Beerus. And the shockwaves of their punches were able to reach the edges of existence in only a few seconds. Over 270 quadrillion times the speed Jeez. of light. And that is before so <laughs> many years of power-ups and training between then and now. Totally crazy. That's what I'm saying, bro. They've trained damn near their whole life. And here's Frieza. Four, what did he say? Four days, four months? I did. I forgot. And I just said it. And he, he went to his goal form, bro. But nothing compared to his newest and greatest form. A transformation capable of surpassing Goku's ultra instinct and Vegeta's ultra ego. Their peaks at this point. A transformation even stronger than Gas, who was wished to be the strongest in the universe. Gas stronger than gas. Who's who was that? Bro, the amount of Dragon Ball Z content I reacted to when they I've never heard of gas. What the fuck? Who is this? Who was wished to be the strongest in the universe? He literally said F you to the Dragon Balls. This is Black Frieza. The all seeing Oracle Fish had prophesied the coming of the universe's <laughs> strongest. And perhaps he was talking about Frieza all along. Come on, give us another prediction. Oh, Wiz, I think you're gonna die. No, for some godforsaken reason, he didn't use his newfound power to kill those pesky Saiyans. They were right there, you moron. In fact, he once committed the arch-villain's greatest sin and teamed up with them to yep. save their universe and beat Jiren. Yep. But being comparable <laughs> to the gods of destruction. Because no- Hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie. That's why he shouldn't be out here having beef with nobody, bro. It's committed the Because when it comes time that comes time that you both need to come together and do do what it does, you know what I'm saying? It'll be easier. His greatest sin and team. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. They came together after time and time and time again of fighting and beefing. To throw hands with freaking this man right here. Up with them to save their universe and beat G with this Jiris. Jiren, a being Jiren. comparable to the gods of destruction. Because no one's allowed to destroy the universe but, but him. him. <laughs> and that's a promise he means that to keep. Crazy. This almighty emperor will continue to rule the universe with an iron grip and a heart of ice. Hey, bro. I don't lie. We're gonna hear Megatron, but I feel like I want to go with. Wait, it's like one of these things, right? It's one of those things where, like, you know or feel like something is that person or what it is, but then it's actually the other thing just to throw you off. I feel like this video is going to be just like that. We don't hear Megatron, but I'm leaning towards the uh, freezer, bro. I ain't going to lie. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by NordVPN. It's no secret that Wi Fi network come an eater and become the villain. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Or you Hard. live even longer and become an 80s toy commercial. <laughs> this is Megatron. In Cybertron's ancient past, the planet was ruled by the Functionist Religious Order, which decreed a Transformer... 9,000 years Cybertronian, due to the Decepticons, Optimus Prime... Natural born alternate okay. mode determined their role and status in society rather than letting them choose for themselves. Born into this repressive caste system, Mega Desperately needs a cough drop. Yeah, let's just add that fucking bullet point, bro. Megatron of Tarn <laughs> dreamed of something Yo. more. So this giant Hasbro <laughs> toy robot, only $5.99 at your nearest Raid Aid, wrote a manifesto on peaceful dissent that got popular with the oppressed Cybertronian working class. So much so, in fact, that the Senate tried to have him assassinated. Whoa, politics alert! After surviving That's that crazy. brush with death, Megatron was convinced that peace could never be an option. The only path left to overthrow the crippling social order was violent revolution. So were the Autobots originally the bad guys here? Optimus Prime? More like Optimus Crime. 
Never say that Megatron wasn't committed. The civil war he started between the two groups lasted nine million what fucking fuck? years. What's this? And again, remember, toy robots. He was aided in his oh, war efforts commercial? by his immensely powerful fusion cannon. Wait, no. A giant laser bazooka that can hit targets from 12 miles away and level a small town in a single shot. These That's projectiles nothing. are so fast, they're able to exit the atmosphere from ground. And I matter was, uh... Energon may shield sword electricity manipulation flight level after only a single He's looking second, weak, I ain't gonna lie. scaling the distance of the earth using the angle of this shot, the fusion cannon's projectile must be moving over 4,200 times the speed of sound. But like me, the fusion cannon needs a little time to recharge between shots. So Megatron's recharge. got some tools to keep the job going. He can close the distance with his Energon mace and block blows with his Energon shield. It helps that Meg's literally fought as a gladiator before his stunt as a revolutionary. Megatron can fire lasers from his eyes and arms launch buzzsaws strong enough to slice through solid rock, fly through the air, and open up a force field known as a panic bubble. Now it might seem You might see Frieza get sliced up again, okay? Fly through the air and open up a force field known as a panic bubble. Now it might seem like a huge flaw that it lets enemy combatants inside, but that's only until you realize it won't let them back out again. That's when the panic part comes in. Oh. Megatron's not trapped in there with you. You're trapped in there with him. Yep, Megatron's yep, yep. Cybertronian body is strong enough to match the Autobot leader Optimus Prime, who can toss around oil tankers weighing hundreds of thousands of tons. And Megatron's metallic hide was tough enough to survive an explosion so massive, it launched the entire planet of Cybertron through space. By taking a look at Cybertron's mass and how fast it was sent flying to get its overall kinetic energy, Megatron must have survived a blast equal to nearly 4.5 Nina tons of TNT. Alright, I think we should look. Small star. That's more. He can even keep up with Decepticons like Starscream, who can fly across the galaxy from Earth to Cybertron at hundreds of thousands of times the speed of light. And he wouldn't be a transform- Gone. Cybertronian tank stealth bomber jet. Armor okay. without being able to transform Damn, into various vehicles. A tank, a stealth I'm still on Frieza. Jet, and a gun! Just a gun. Walter B-38, in fact. I'm sorry, Wiz. I know he's this tragic revolutionary corrupted by the cycle of violence or whatever, but that is the funniest shit I have ever seen. What does he have, like his deceptive buddies point him at people and fire? Sometimes. He can fire himself, too. <laughs> oh my god. Chris that Cole. looks even sillier. You may be laughing, mm -hmm. but Megatron is no joke. By utilizing space bridge teleportation technology, Megatron can establish a remote link up to a nearby black hole and teleport the antimatter it produces to his location <laughs> through his eyeballs. Should okay. matter and antimatter meet, they will be mutually annihilated in a brilliant release of energy defined by E equals MC squared. It doesn't matter how durable the matter is, it will be destroyed at the subatomic level. As Megatron's war for control of Cybertron dragged on, all of his highfalutin ideals started to fall to the wayside. In essence, there used to be a point to the war. Now, war was the point. His only goal Damn. left was to rule Cybertron with a literal iron fist. That's where Megatron's greatest weapon came into play, his mind. The dude is a strategic and tactical genius who's always thinking 10 steps ahead. He's fought powerful Transformers okay. like Grimlock, Predaking, and the Decepticon, a being with the power of an entire evil universe behind it. He and Optimus have even fought Nova Prime and Regenesis Shockwave, both of whom could utilize the energy of that same universe. Megatron once sealed himself inside an Omniglobe and commanded a thousand real-life battles at once funneling every iota of relevant information into his brain at the same time. The sheer deluge of data would be incomprehensible for anyone without that supercomputer brain. But all that robot ass kicking ended up as a draw, and the only true loser was Cybertron. With the planet in ruins and its civilization extinguished, the Cybertronian golden age was long over, and the vanguard of its destruction was Megatron, who is now a crusty Saturday morning Commanded the Decepticons for millions of years, slaughtered hordes of Autobots single-handedly. Fusion getting shots exit the atmosphere at Mac 4200. Antimatter fought the Decepticon God and reached Genesis Shockwave to the Cartoon villain with Fuck. a voice that sounds like he smokes 40 packs a day and a hate <laughs> boner for his boneheaded second-in-command. 
Starscream. After countless millennia of a humiliating stalemate with his Boy Scout rival, Megatron's brilliant mind finally turned inward. He remembered that his early writings advocated for peaceful conversion and free thought instead of domination. It took you nine million years to remember why you started fighting in the first place? Would that memory get lost in the cloud? In what was possibly his most surprising tactical move yet, Megatron saved the universe from annihilation as an Autobot. What? He realized that after millions of years of indefinite war, the ideals that he fought for, freedom, justice, equality, had switched sides, and Megatron had to as well. Turns out there was more to this supervillain than met the eye, because true to his nature, Megatron transformed. Alright, so... Ah... Uh... I bro, something's telling me Frieza. Go with Frieza. But this bit right here, right? He survived this. This whole bit right here, he survived. Frieza has his blast. Is a I forgot the name of it. Is his his one finger blast? I would call it that, right? Uh, I don't think it was that strong enough because he had he survived this shit, right? His, his Frieza's thing I think was like six trillion or something. We talking octillion right now so he survived all of this bro right and then also he made a point over here which i should have paused he can also link up interdimensional to a black hole and draw antimatter from it that's actually fucking insane all right what, what what's the point bro he made he made he made a point but i should have paused i should have paused i forgot where it was but i i'm going I'm going Megatron, bro. Off your first month. I'm on Megatron. Megatron, let's go. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all it. possibilities. It's time for a death, death battle. battle. Yes. Come on, bro. Sheesh. Best of both worlds, bro, type shit. Greetings, noble warrior of planet Cyber whatever. I, Lord Freezer, <laughs> claim this world as my own. Cheer for me or face annihilation. I have fought for my planet for eons. I would rather see it turn to ash than reside in your filthy hands, organic <laughs> scum. <laughs> I love it when they monologue back. This shit right here. Hang on, do mine, buddy. Lord. The flesh. I'll eat that bitch. Ain't never seen this. Kitty, I'll have to construct a new mothership from your corpse. He's looking good. He's looking good. Is that clunky robot body too slow to keep up? My wish should more than suffice, you blithering punks. Copyright. Get the steps ahead. You feel me? He knows where he at. Hold on. Take him. He survived that shit though. Where did he go? <laughs> that was hey, Grandpa. No way. Go for him. Oh shit. Ah oh, fuck. All right. What's going on? It looks like Megatron is running out.
Oh, deflection! Ooh, the honey! Yo! Not as though! He said, me is. That's tough. Oh, no! Doesn't this just always happen? I give it three, no, five minutes. My planet! Uh, no way. <laughs> Behold the mighty Lord Freezer, ruler of a dying planet. My planet. Where is your army? Where is your ship? So powerful, and yet you will wander the depths of space for eternity, all because of me! What a fool. You despicable, cretinous worm! I'll torture you until your screams can be heard in the vacuum of space! Stop this talking, dude, fighting! We're going on! Die a fool's death! Is it done? <laughs> oh. You will see my fucking split in half. Die Both of them. You no. Oh God. Sabatrinians must kill them all. Way, bro. See, see, I was, I knew it was gonna be one of those things, bro. Jake, pick freezer, pick freezer, pick freezer. It's gonna be a little twist, bro. You gotta go the opposite way. God damn it! What the fuck hey, oh, going on, it, bro? Freezer. It was actually one minute and ten seconds. Idiot. Megatron's ruthless <laughs> resilience may have netted him a win in some scenarios, but Frieza's overwhelming power gave him a clear edge. Megatron's Locking ace a. in the hole was his antimatter, which would have annihilated Frieza's ass no matter how tough it was. And that was a real possibility. Megatron is a master tactician and manipulator with millions of years of combat experience. Frieza, on the other hand, has always relied on his raw power and intimidation to win fights. When things don't go his way, he has a tendency to freak out. However, Frieza has survived getting most of his body obliterated yeah. and kept going. Which meant the antimatter wasn't... Hey, Alright, in that situation, him getting split up like that, I thought it was going to be a disadvantage because... Obviously, they said that it takes a couple minutes for him to kind of regenerate himself or get back to where he was type shit. So I was like, all right, they're going to do a little scene right there in this where, like, he's going to be struggling. Because they both end up getting split up. In a surefire win, it would have to completely cover Frieza's whole body before he could react. And Frieza was way too fast for that. While Megatron scaled mm. the characters who could cross galaxies, Frieza okay. has kept up with Goku, who should be at least trillions of times faster. And yeah. on his smaller size and key force fields, Frieza had more than enough ways to avoid, defend, or survive the antimatter. So yeah. Megatron's only option was power. While Megatron has survived... Frieza. Faster, powerful, defensive counter, vulnerable to antimatter. More experienced, smarter, physically inferior. Larger side made him a bigger target. True. Made him slower, too. Damn, bro. See, I, f I fucking knew it, bro. I knew it. I should have gone with Frieza. I was gonna go with Frieza, but someone was telling me like, "Nah, you gotta, you gotta tweak it, bro. You gotta, you gotta go the opposite way this time, okay?" This shit annoying. Planet busting explosions, and even fought with a being that had the energy of a universe behind it. Golden Frieza was just too much for him, considering he certainly surpassed Goku and Beerus's punch clash. Yeah. Since Universe Seven as a whole should be over thirteen times larger than our own universe. Frieza's super forms would far exceed Megatron. That, bro, this move right here, where he said, I'm doing this. Yeah, let me bring whatever's behind you. Come here. 
That's tough. Power. And that That's tough. That's happened at the beginning of Dragon Ball Super. Goku has gotten league stronger since then, and Black Frieza is currently beyond him. There was just no way Megatron was strong enough to keep up. Megatron Damn. was a devious foe, but Frieza's power, speed, and sheer survivability allowed him to crush the Decepticon leader underfoot. I guess you could say Megatron was cool, but Frieza was cooler. The winner is Frieza. Damn it, bro. Oh, shit. Nah, this was a good, good ass uh, episode, bro. A good fight. Bro, how do they like animation, bro? Voiceovers on point. You know what I'm saying? I loved Megatron's voiceover, bro. The way he was talking. I, Lord Freezer, claim this world as my own. Cheer for me or face annihilation. I have fought for my planet for eons. That's tough, bro. That's so, like, fucking gangster, bro, his voice. That was tough, bro. That was fucking tough. I had, I had faith in the homie, bro, but, you know, I should have picked Frieza. Like, I should have, like, like, I was supposed, I should have picked Frieza like I was, man. I ain't gonna lie. That's insane, bro. Hey, let me know if y'all got it right. Let me know what y'all thought. That's my reaction from the drug of the studio. Like, subscribe if you haven't. I'm out.